Ah, uh, we are on fire. We are on fire. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. This is way too much. This is way too much. All right, chill, 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 chill. What's going on, my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags. Excuse me, Ira Golem. And welcome to the beautiful world of Minecraft Hardcore. Now, as you guys can see, I actually did a little bit of modifications to my shaders pack. And look how beautiful it looks behind us. There's trees moving, there's shadows around us, and yeah, it actually looks really cool. But anyways, today, my dudes, we are off to the nether again, and today, my dudes, we are going to be building a nether hub. Oh my god, you interrupt so much. We are going to be building a beautiful nether hub. Let's get started. Now, before we do, let's see if we can smash that one hundo like goal. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that sub button. And don't forget to hit that little bell. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm actually turning off the shaders. I don't actually want them on. But what do you guys think about those grass blocks, though? Those are kind of cool. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my inventory managed. And we're going to get a bunch of supplies. And we're going to go build a beautiful nether hub. Now, I haven't built a nether hub since my guide series. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We're just going to wing it. All right, I'm all ready to go. I got a ton of blackstone and stuff. And uh, also, we have some basalt. So let's head on down to the nether. And uh, let's start forming this thing. All right, here we are. So, uh, we have a multitude of portals down here, so, uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we want to do exactly here. So, I think what I'm gonna do is just start clearing this whole area out, and, uh, then we can kind of sort through all the portals and connect them up all properly. And, uh, I think what I'm gonna do, hold on, let's go destroy this portal. I, I don't know if I want this anymore. This isn't really that useful anymore. I think I'm gonna get rid of this portal. Now, if you guys don't know, this portal is actually just down below my house right there. Um, I used to use it just to get up and down before we had the elytra, but now that we have the elytra, there's kind of no point anymore. Alright, I got rid of it. Now it's time to go back through that, uh, I guess this man is just gonna live on the overworld for a little while. Alright, so we can get rid of this portal now that I closed off the other side. Alright, I got that portal removed. Now what I'm gonna do is basically just rip apart this whole area. We'll just go into time-lapse mode. And uh, then I can re-terraform it later, and uh, we can make a nice big nether hub room. I got this place kind of semi cleared out look at it looking a little bit better a little bit terraformed as well as uh, You guys can see so there's lava above there. So that's kind of sketchy um, So I got it mostly cleared out and over here as you guys can see this is uh, Where we had the staircase down and to the other portals So what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna start by reshaping this portal I'm gonna make a large scale nice big portal on an angle I'm gonna see how that looks and then after I get the portal remade, I'm thinking we'll kind of shape the room around it. I'm thinking about going and getting some uh, quartz and kind of doing some quartz designs all the way around the room and figuring out a nice floor. Um, it's going to be a very dark styled room, of course, um, because it's nether style. But yeah, so I'll rip apart this portal and then uh, we'll figure it out. I got 23 obsidian so I can make a fair size portal for sure. All right, so this is the size of the portal that I'm going for, and luckily I did have flint in those boxes. And uh, let's check if this portal's linked. We are 100% linked. We are in the clear. All right, I got some polished uh, basalt here. Now, I'm going to try to do some pillars or something around the portal. I want to give it a different look here. All right, so I got the um, kind of portal laid out right now. Um, now, remember, this is just like first like lay down here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go get stone brick. And I think I'm going to lay cracked stone brick down. That or smooth stone. I'm thinking cracked stone brick and do it all along here. And then kind of do a balcony off this edge here and do like iron bars all the way around. That's what I'm thinking right now, I think. And then leave this because it kind of looks like a bone material. Because we're trying to go with like a really hell-like, you know, a hell-like appearance. That's what I'm trying to go with right now. So I'm going to try that. So let's go home for a minute. All right, so I'm out here getting an absolute ton of stone. 
and then we're gonna head back and then uh, we're gonna try out the crack stone I'm thinking and I'm trying to get a little bit of iron as well so we can make iron railings all right, so I got stone bricks here, and I gathered up some lava buckets. As you guys probably know, you got to smelt down stone bricks to get cracked stone bricks. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so I got a few cracked bricks here, and this is what it's going to look like. And I actually really like it. Okay, that's good. And uh, what we could do instead, um, we could probably use slabs, so then we're not using so much resources as well. And of course, they don't have um, slabs for cracked brick. Damn, dudes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mixture of cracked brick mixed with the uh, stone brick slabs. And uh, that way I'm not using too many resources, but just enough, you know? All right, so I'm just going to basically go around the whole area here. And then eventually we'll just plop in the cracked brick to make it look a little more natural. All right, so instead of having it um, how I had it before, having it flush, I decided to put the steps out front here. So now I'm going to fill in all this cracked brick underneath the in like instead of these slabs here just to make it look a little more natural and broken all right that looks pretty good we got some cracked stone brick all throughout it um i might add more in the future but i'm gonna hang on to what i got i don't want to add too too much just yet and uh now i need to come up with an idea um i'm thinking of putting like a railing around this place um putting like uh, a slight wall like this and then putting um basically iron walls around it i think i'm gonna leave a four wide pathway from the portal out here and then uh, i think i'm gonna make it a little wider on these corners all right so i got the border around it now i'm gonna put these gates around it as well so well not these gates but these iron bars we're gonna see how this looks and then i'm gonna fill in the side walls with cracked stone brick as well um i've decided i'm going to be putting two um lava fountains at the back here that side and this side and uh what i'm gonna do at the front here is i'm gonna wait for this cobblestone to smelt into stone and then we're gonna kind of do like a pillar looking um octagonal circle shape all right here we go we're gonna make the entrance now so we got chiseled stone brick i'm gonna see what this looks like all right not bad this is kind of really graveyardy feeling themed you know all right so i'm gonna make this fountain now so i'm just gonna encase down here with stone brick all right so let's go up by like one two three maybe and then we need to get some lava okay so i'm gonna put lava on top of here and it should come down real nice like that not bad yeah i like that that's not bad nice and basic and we'll do it to that side all right so now we need to start filling out the staircase here okay so instead of doing it four wide uh, for the stairs i think i'm gonna do it two wide all the way down all right so this is gonna take a little while here but patience is key all right nice we're done the hard part well temporary hard part now we can actually dig straight down here. Uh oh, here's the hard part again. We got all the way down now, but uh, look, this is the difficult part. All right, time to make it not so difficult. I think I'll just do this. Just do this shape with nether, netherrack, and then uh, we should just be able to come down here, you know? All right, there we go. There's our staircase. All right, nice. We got it all the way to the tippity top. And now we just have to go along and put basically stone brick like this all the way down. All right, so while we're waiting for some stone brick, I'm going to make the same pillar entrance design as I did over here. I'm going to put that over here. So I'm going to grab these, put these along the top up here, these chiseled stone bricks. Oh, I did uh, that one in the wrong spot. Let's put this one right here, and then we'll put stairs on the corners like this. And let's see, move this out of the way, and that looks better. There we go. Looks pretty cool. It matches up with this one over here. Hey, Endyman, what are you doing? All right, there we go. The stairs are officially done. Now, eventually, I will get stone brick walls, but I ran out of stone, so I'm going to leave it for now exactly how it is. And uh, we'll probably do some terraforming in the future down here. To make it look a little cleaner but uh it does look good it does look good i like it so let's go all the way to the bottom and look up them it kind of looks sweet from down here and uh i would like to so what the plan is down here i want to put the portals because i have two different portals down here um actually no one different portal one to the stronghold and it is right there if you guys can see that on my screen i zoomed in um so it's right there so this whole stone staircase 
So eventually I want to have like a path that leads us there, maybe with soul speed, like soul sand, and then I have the soul speed boots. Eventually we'll probably do that as a different style of nether hub. Um, which could be really cool. All right, so this place is looking pretty sweet. Honestly, I feel like I should get more lava and place it over here uh, because it's kind of boring over here. There's there's nothing here. I don't know what to do here. I, I like it because it's nice and dark and gloomy. It took me only about an hour to make, so that, that's not too, too shabby. Um, and it's nice and dark and gloomy area, you know? Very dangerous and spooky. All right, so now, before the end of the episode... We have to get an advancement. And now the advancement we're gonna be getting is much different than any other ones we've really done yet. And uh, it's gonna be pretty intense. So uh, let's grab our stuff and let's go all the way home. And we're gonna see what this advancement is. Oh my God, what is it, a party in here? Oh my gosh, look at all the, the endy men, the, the pig men. Okay, so we're finally home and uh, let's go through the advancement tab. Okay, so going over to the nether, we only have a few more nether advancements. As you guys can see, we need to travel seven, seven kilometers in the overworld. We'll use the nether to travel seven kilometers in the overworld. We have to do a furious cocktail. That one is very difficult. I looked up how to do it. Very difficult, and we're going to be doing it eventually, but not today. And here it is. Uneasy Alliance. Rescue a gas from the nether. Bring it safely home to the overworld and then kill it okay so this is going to be super hard i think but um it's going to be interesting so the first thing we're going to go do is get an absolute ton of obsidian and uh go somewhere where we've never been before all right so as you guys know um this is not going to be an easy task so what we're going to have to do i imagine this is probably going to be the best way i was thinking about a lead but honestly, what about a fishing rod? So the gas needs to get through the, the nether portal and has to get on this side of the earth, okay? So what I'm thinking of, we grab a fishing rod, we lure him in like this. Just grab him, grab him, keep grabbing him, keep grabbing him until he comes through the portal. I think that's probably the best method. All right, I think we found our lava pit. There seems to be a fire. Would you check that out? That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get as much obsidian as possible. A few moments later. All right, so we're going to go down these stairs. And we should set up a portal down here. Because this is a good spawn for ghasts down here. Okay, good news. I actually just found a ghast. And it is right here. So what I'm going to try to do is set up the portal right here in front of them. And maybe we can get them to go through. Okay, I've almost got the portal built here. A little bit sketchy because I am being attacked by the gas while I'm trying to build it. Um, oh, damn, he got me. Okay, here we go. The portal is set up. Let's see if we can get him to come back here. Let's get our fishing rod out and see if we can pull him down here. Oh, man, I should have built it up here. There's three gas around me right now. All right, quick portal. Okay, there we go. We got a portal up here. Let's see if we can... Oh, we got to clean this out. Oh, my gosh, we're getting double attacked. There's triple. Oh, my gosh, dude, this is so hectic. I was not prepared for this. Ah, uh, we are on fire. We are on fire. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. This is way too much. This is way too much. All right, chill, 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 chill. I'm going to clear out all this fire. And I'm going to put cobblestone here instead. A lot of fire. I wish water buckets worked in the nether. I think this is the most hectic thing I've ever done. Even facing the wither. All right, well, our cobblestone still lights on fire, but it won't stay on fire. So he likes to break the portal too. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. They're too high up in the air. Okay, I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. No! Oh my god, dudes. I'm gonna die. I got no food on me either. All right, I'm heading back. I gotta rethink my plan of attack here. And we have a heart and a half. All right, dudes. We're going back in. I got an unbreaking one and an unbreaking two fishing rod. Let's see if this uh, lasts long enough. Hopefully it does. And uh, I got a new strat when we get in there. All right, first strategy, I'm going to make this platform huge. Second strategy, we're going to make the portal bigger and taller. So I'm thinking at least like to there and a lot taller. Okay, that's a big portal. That is a very big portal. Okay, so I'm going to keep expanding this. And then uh, once we get it fully expanded, then we can try to hunt down some gas. All right, I used all my blocks that I brought. The area is complete. Now... We're gonna pull out our unbreaking three fishing rod. We got the portal lit up. We got fire resistant potions. It is time to get this gas in here. 
Hopefully that one comes over here. Oh, one spawned over here. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh-oh, big boy jump. All right, he's pretty close. He's pretty close. Let's take our fire resistant potion. Now let's wait for him to come down here. Come on, come on down. Okay, he's close, he's close, he's close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There he goes. He's through, he's through, he's through. He is through. Oh my gosh, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. He's in here. Oh no. I think he died instantly. I think he died instantly, dudes. Maybe we should move this port. You know what? Let's move this portal above land. All right, so we should be able to make the portal right here. Should be good enough right here. All right, let's see if we can get that lucky again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's so close, so close, dudes. He's in, he's in, he's in. There he is, there he is. There he is, oh my gosh, dudes. Oh my gosh, there we go. Uneasy Alliance, oh my god, dudes. I've been spending so much time trying to get this done. Oh man, I cannot even say how happy I am. He went in basically on his own. Oh my gosh, dudes. Oh man, literally that took so, so long. I'm not even kidding. All right, so I'm wrapping up the video right there. That was exactly what I needed to get done before the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching my dudes. Let's see if we can smash that 100 like goal. And also, if you're new to the channel and you want to become one of the dudes, smash that sub button and don't forget to hit that little bell. And damn, dudes, it's raining. Okay, have a good night. Have a good day. Whatever it is for you. Thank you for watching and peace out, my dudes.